Hello, I'm Rabbi Jeff Glickman with Temple Beth Hillel here in South Windsor, Connecticut. Um, life, life can be rough. Life can definitely be rough. We've never promised an easy time of it. Uh, certainly not in in any books of uh, in any of our holy books. One of the things that makes life tough is the uncertainty of it. Like we don't know what's going to be happening next week, tomorrow, or <laughs> even in the next five minutes. We, we don't know. There, there's a lot of uncertainty. So you can call it randomness. Uh, and that, that puts us on edge some, because if you don't know what's going to happen, it's hard to be prepared for it. Uh, and so we create all different kinds of ways for dealing with uncertainty. One thing that I kind of enjoy is games. Games teach us to deal with the randomness of life, the uncertainty of life, by replacing it with random, uh, well, they replace the uncertainty with a randomness, like the roll of a die. Like you don't know what's going to come out or, or which card you're going to get. Or you reach your hand into a sack of tiles and you don't know which tile or domino is going to be yours. There's a sense of randomness it's not totally uncertain, it's random. And good game players realize that there is an order to the randomness. That there's going to be a point where if you roll the die enough, you're not only going to get ones, you're going to get, if you do it enough time, you're going to get just as many threes and fours and fives and sixes as you get ones and twos. And that's how we play games. We deal with the uncertainty of the randomness by finding some order in it. And it models that, that component of life, that life is uncertain. And it makes us feel that, that we can deal with some of the uncertainty because we look at probabilities. We learn to deal in probabilities and we aim for things which have a higher probability of success. Games model how to have a higher probability of success in life. Well, Judaism teaches us a lot of really important things about the uncertainty of life. Like, for instance, we don't know what's going to happen, but there is some deep order to it. God knows what's going to happen. We don't know exactly how it's going to happen, but if you stand back far enough, it looks like things move in a cyclical nature. I mean, it talks about this all over the place in, in Torah, but especially in the book of Ecclesiastes, um, which is blows me away. All rivers flow to the sea, yet the sea is never filled. From where the waters came from, there they return. Now that's the evaporation water cycle. And how in the world did people know that? Because we didn't even discover water vapor until thousands, thousands of years afterwards. That the rain isn't just new water that comes down, but it's the water from evaporating. But it's that cycle. It's the cycle of life. It, it teaches us um, an ancient wisdom about life, that things might look uncertain, but there's a, there's a cyclical nature to it if you step back far enough and look at it. We are at a particular point in a cycle. The holidays help us deal with the uncertainty of life by showing us and modeling these cycles. Right now is kind of the first step where we realize, oh, we haven't been doing things right. And just like um, a cartoon character who's running really fast and tries to stop immediately and sort of skids for a little bit, keeps going before they turn around and run the other way, that's the point we're at right now, the beginning of the month of Av. 
We're realizing we're heading the wrong way, but we can't totally stop. And we know it's going to get worse before it gets better. We're just now realizing and we can't, we can't steer the ship fast enough. We're going to keep going and keep going, getting worse and worse and worse until Tisha B'Av, where we have turned the ship and we're starting to move towards fixing things that have been broken. We're starting to, we're, we're, we're just in the first stages of, oh my God, maybe we're not going the right way. Maybe this isn't quite right. This is, this is where we're at right now. And things are going to get worse. Things are going to get worse before they get better. And they start to get better as we move towards these high and holy days of awe, where we take all those things that we have broken and we bring them to God with, fixed with the duct tape and, you know, the, uh, what's that glue and the little gun thing, the hot gun glue. And it, it, it's not quite the same. And in some ways it's broken and repaired. It's not as good. And in some ways it's way better. It's way better. And God accepts what we've got. That's what we're looking forward to. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. We're just realizing we're on the wrong road. We're reaching. We're reaching towards it. Well, today, we're in a difficult place. In the year 2020, it's a difficult place. And things are not going to get better until they get worse. And these holidays, these Jewish holidays, this Jewish cycle helps us to deal with what goes on in our lives. It helps us to realize that, well, maybe we made some bad decisions. Maybe, maybe it takes a while for us to reverse these bad decisions. But God is on our side. And God welcomes us. And God loves us. And God gives us another chance. I view this as the very beginning of these high and holy days of awe. And it's going to get worse before it gets better. May you have a wonderful, wonderful year.